My first customer was a lunatic. The second had a death wish. Is what the person who created Mercedes-Benz had to say about his business. Being one of the most successful businesses of our generation, let's dive in and observe the backstory of all this. Carl Friedrich Benz was a German engine designer and automotive engineer. His Benz patent motorcar from 1885 is considered the first practical modern automobile and the first car put into series production. He received a patent for the motorcar in 1886. His company Benz NC, based in Mannheim, was the world's first automobile plant and the largest of its day. In 1926, it merged with Daimler Motor and Gesellschaft to form Daimler Benz, which produces the Mercedes Benz among other brands. Carl Benz was born Carl Friedrich Michael Valiant on November 25, 1844, in Mulberg, now a borough of Karlsruhe, Baden Wurttemberg, which is part of modern Germany. His parents were Josephine Valiant and a locomotive driver, Johann George Benz, whom she married a few months later. According to German law, the child acquired the name, Benz, through the legal marriage of his parents. When he was two years old, his father died of pneumonia, and his name was changed to Carl Friedrich Benz in remembrance of his father. Despite living in near poverty, his mother strived to give him a good education. Benz attended the local school in Karlsruhe and was a prodigious student. In 1853, at the age of nine, he started at the Scientifically Oriented Lyceum. Next, he studied at Karlsruhe's Polytechnical School under the instruction of Ferdinand Redenbacher. Benz had originally focused his studies on locksmithing, but he eventually followed his father's steps toward locomotive engineering. On September 30, 1860, at age 15, he passed the entrance exam for mechanical engineering at the Karlsruhe Polytechnical School, which he subsequently attended. Benz graduated on July 9, 1864, aged 19. Following his formal education, Benz had seven years of professional training in several companies but did not fit well in any of them. The training started in Karlsruhe with two years of varied jobs in a mechanical engineering company. He then moved to Mannheim to work as a draftsman and designer in a scale factory. In 1868, he went to Pforzheim to work for the bridge building company Jabutter Ben Kaiser Eisenwerk Uendi Maskenen Fabric. Finally, he went to Vienna for a short period to work at an iron construction company. In 1871, at the age of 27, Karl Benz joined August Ritter in launching the Iron Foundry and Mechanical Workshop in Mannheim, later renamed the Factory for Machines for Sheet Metal Working. The enterprise's first year went very badly. Ritter turned out to be unreliable, and the business's tools were impounded. The difficulty was overcome when Benz's fiancée, Bertha Ringer, bought out Ritter's share in the company using her dowry. On July 20, 1872, Carl Benz and Bertha Ringer were married. They had five children, Eugen, Richard, Clara, Thilda, and Ellen. Despite the business misfortunes, Carl Benz led in the development of new engines in the early factory he and his wife owned. To get more revenue, he began to work on new patents in 1878. First, he concentrated on creating a reliable gasoline two-stroke engine. Benz finished his two-stroke engine on December 31, 1879, and was granted a patent for it on June 28, 1880. Carl Benz showed his real genius, however, through the successive inventions he registered while designing what would become the production standard for his two-stroke engine. Benz soon patented the speed regulation system, the ignition using sparks with a battery, the spark plug, the carburetor, the clutch, the gear shift, and the water radiator. Problems arose again when the banks at Mannheim demanded that Bertha and Carl Benz's enterprise be incorporated due to the high production costs it maintained. The Benzes were forced to improvise an association with photographer Emil Bueller and his brother, a cheese merchant, to get additional bank support. The company became a joint stock company, Gasmotor and Fabric Mannheim, in 1882. After all the necessary incorporation agreements, Benz was unhappy because he was left with merely 5% of the shares and a modest position as director. Worst of all, his ideas weren't considered when designing new products so he withdrew from that corporation just one year later, in 1883. 
Benz's lifelong hobby brought him to a bicycle repair shop in Mannheim owned by Max Rose and Friedrich Wilhelm Messlinger. In 1883, the three founded a new company producing industrial machines, Benz and Company Rhenish Gas Modern Fabric, usually referred to as Benz and C. Quickly growing to 25 employees, it soon began to produce static gas engines as well. The success of the company gave Benz the opportunity to indulge in his old passion of designing a horseless carriage. Based on his experience with and fondness for bicycles, he used similar technology when he created the automobile. It featured wire wheels, unlike carriages' wooden ones, a four-stroke engine of his own design between the rear wheels, a very advanced coil ignition, and evaporative cooling rather than a radiator. Power was transmitted by means of two roller chains to the rear axle. Carl Benz finished his creation in 1885 and named it the Benz Patent Motor Wagon. The motor wagon was patented on January 29, 1886, as an automobile fueled by gas. The 1885 version was difficult to control, leading to a collision with a wall during a public demonstration. The first successful tests on public roads were carried out in the early summer of 1886. The next year, Benz created the Motor Wagon Model 2, which had several modifications, and in 1889, the definitive Model 3 with wooden wheels was introduced, showing at the Paris Expo the same year. Benz began to sell the vehicle, advertising it as a Benz Patent Motor Wagon. In the late summer of 1888, making it the first commercially available automobile in history. The second customer of the motor wagon was a Parisian bicycle manufacturer, Emile Roger, who had already been building Benz engines under license from Carl Benz for several years. Roger added the Benz automobiles, many built in France, to the line he carried in Paris, and initially most were sold there. The early 1888 version of the motor wagon had only two gears and could not climb hills unaided. This limitation was rectified after Bertha Benz made her famous trip driving one of the vehicles a great distance and suggested to her husband the addition of a third gear for climbing hills. In the course of this trip, she also invented brake pads. The world's first ever long-distance automobile trip was undertaken by Bertha Benz using a Model 3. On the morning of August 5, 1888, Bertha, supposedly without the knowledge of her husband, took the vehicle on a 104-kilometer trip from Mannheim to Pforzheim to visit her mother, taking her sons Eugen and Richard with her. In addition to having to locate pharmacies along the way to refuel, she repaired various technical and mechanical problems. One of these included the invention of brake lining. After some longer downhill slopes, she ordered a shoemaker to nail leather onto the brake blocks. Bertha Benz and her sons finally arrived at nightfall, announcing Carl's achievement by telegram. It had been her intention to demonstrate the feasibility of using the Benz motor wagon for travel and to generate publicity in the manner now referred to as live marketing. Today, the event is celebrated every two years in Germany with an antique automobile rally. In 2008, the Bertha Benz Memorial Route was officially approved as a route of the industrial heritage of mankind because it follows Bertha Benz's tracks on the world's first long-distance journey by automobile in 1888. The public can now follow the 194 kilometers of signposted route from Mannheim via Heidelberg to Pforzheim and back. The return trip, which didn't go through Heidelberg, was along a different, slightly shorter route, as shown on the maps of the Bertha Benz Memorial Route. Benz's Model 3 made its wide-scale debut to the world at the 1889 World's Fair in Paris. About 25 motor wagons were built between 1886 and 1893. The great demand for static internal combustion engines forced Carl Benz to enlarge the factory in Mannheim, and in 1886 a new building located on Waldhofstrasse, operating until 1908, was added. Benz Ansi had grown in the interim from 50 employees in 1889 to 430 in 1899. During the last years of the 19th century, Benz was the largest automobile company in the world, with 572 units produced in 1899. Because of its size, Benz and C. became a joint stock company in 1899 with the arrival of Friedrich von Fischer and Julius Gantz 
who came aboard as members of the board of management. Gantz worked in the commercialization department, which is somewhat similar to marketing in contemporary corporations. The new directors recommended that Benz create a less expensive automobile suitable for mass production. From 1893 to 1900, Benz sold the four-wheel, two-seat Victoria, a two-passenger automobile with a 2.2 kilowatts engine that could reach a top speed of 18 kilometers per hour and had a pivotal front axle operated by a roller chain tiller for steering. The model was successful, with 85 units sold in 1893, and was produced in a four-seated version with face-to-face -face seat benches. From 1894 to 1902, Benz produced over 1,200 of what some consider the first mass-produced car, the Velocipede, later known as the Benz Velo. The early Velo had a 1L, 1.5 metric horsepower engine, and later a 3 metric horsepower engine, giving it a top speed of 19 kilometers per hour. The Velo participated in the world's first automobile race, the 1894 Paris to Rouen, where Emile Roger finished 14th after covering the 126 kilometers in 10 hours and 1 minute, at an average speed of 12.7 kilometers per hour. In 1895, Benz designed the first truck with an internal combustion engine in history. Benz also built the first motor buses in history in 1895 for the Netfener Bus Company. In 1896, Carl Benz was granted a patent for his design of the first flat engine. It had horizontally opposed pistons, a design in which the corresponding pistons reached top dead center simultaneously, thus balancing each other with respect to momentum. Many flat engines, particularly those with four or fewer cylinders, are arranged as boxer engines, or boxer motor in German, and also are known as horizontally opposed engines. This design is still used by Porsche, Subaru, and some high-performance engines used in racing cars. In motorcycles, the most famous boxer engine is found in BMW Motorrad, though the boxer engine design was used in many other models, including the Victoria, Harley-Davidson XA, Zundap, Wooler, and many more. Although Gottlieb Daimler died in March 1900, and there is no evidence that Benz and Daimler knew each other or that they knew about each other's early achievements. Eventually, competition with Daimler Motor and Gesellschaft DMG, in Stuttgart began to challenge the leadership of Benz and C. In October 1900, the main designer of DMG, Wilhelm Maybach, built the engine that would later be used in the Mercedes 35 HP of 1902. The engine was built to the specifications of Emil Jelinek under a contract for him to purchase 36 vehicles with the engine and for him to become a dealer of the special series. Jelinek stipulated the new engine be named Daimler Mercedes for his daughter. Maybach would quit DMG in 1907, but he designed the model and all of the important changes. After testing, the first was delivered to Jelinek on December 22, 1900. Jelinek continued to make suggestions for changes to the model and obtained good results racing the automobile in the next few years, encouraging DMG to engage in commercial production of automobiles, which they did in 1902. Benz countered with Parsifal, introduced in 1903 with a vertical twin engine that achieved a top speed of 60 km per hour. Then, without consulting Benz, the other directors hired some French designers. France was a country with an extensive automobile industry based on Maybach's creations. Because of this action, after difficult discussions, Carl Benz announced his retirement from design management on January 24, 1903, although he remained as a director on the board of management through its merger with DMG in 1926 and remained on the board of the new Daimler-Benz Corporation until his death in 1929. Benz's sons Eugen and Richard left Benz and C. in 1903, but Richard returned to the company in 1904 as the designer of passenger vehicles. That year, sales of Benz and C. reached 3,480 automobiles, and the company remained the leading manufacturer of automobiles. And the legacy continues to this day. That was all. In the end, don't forget to leave us a like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any interesting topics coming soon. This was the Business Observer. See you next time.